Today we want to talk about how strong is your password and how is that determined? Well, there's a couple things you need to know. The basic way that we determine how complex a password is, is determined by the number of possible characters you have and the length of the password. If your password, for example, only has lowercase letters, there's 26 possible letters you can pick from for each character in your password. We'll then raise this to the number of characters that are in your password. So if you had 26 characters and four passwords, it'd be 26 raised to the fourth power. If you included uppercase letters, that makes it 52. Numbers, it's 10 more. And then we throw in some special characters, you could get approximately 96 characters. Now, 96 characters times four is over 45 million possible combinations. If someone were to just start typing in AAAA, AAAB, etc., that would take them 45 million times before they hit every possible combination. You might think, well, that's pretty strong. Until you realize that in 2020, the expected computer power that a hacker would use, it would take them less than a day to work through every possible combination. So how do we make a password strong? Well, the key is actually not in the complexity. It's in the length. Because you're raising it to the power of the number of characters in your password, having a long password is very important much more important than just putting in random letters and numbers. Let's take a couple examples just to see what we mean. Here's the word password. Now, you would never want to use this as your actual password, despite the fact it is actually in the top 100 most commonly used passwords. And that's a different story. So I'm going to copy this and put this into my password tester. And when I put in password, you'll notice it's expected to take zero days to crack, despite the fact that there's over 208 billion combinations. That's just because I had all lowercase. Now, let's try password with a capital letter and a special character. Now, making those two letter changes, we went from taking zero days to crack all the way up to 96 years. If I add in something like a number, I go from 96 years to 311 years. And that's the reason why a lot of times people will say, hey, you should have uppercase and lowercase and special characters and numbers. The problem is it's hard to remember them. So if you're going to use something like that, a lot of times people write them down and that's not safe. So if you're going to use complex passwords, which is often required, I recommend that you store them either in a password management tool or even in your web browser, which most web browsers have a password storage tool. But let's look at what an all lowercase one will be. Here's long password. Notice it has none of the special characters, none of the anything like that, and yet it's 177 years. Not as good as the one with letters, numbers, special characters, etc., but it was better than when you contained uppercase, lowercase, and the special characters. And that's why having a long password is so good. A lot of people recommend taking a password and making it up of several words and getting to at least 16 characters. That way you have a very strong password that will protect you in a lot of cases.